1968, Richard Nixon was elected president of the United States. And uh, he appointed as his secretary of housing and urban development a man named George Romney, uh, the father of someone uh, with whom you may be familiar. And George Romney, as secretary of, the housing, of, of housing and urban development, knew this history that I've been describing well, as did most uh, reasonably well-educated Americans. George Romney said that we've created a white noose. The federal government has created a white noose around African-American neighborhoods throughout this country. Negro neighborhoods, he said. Uh, and it's the federal government's obligation, and his obligation as Secretary of HUD, to untie that noose. And he implemented a program called Open Communities, based on the history that I've just described, his constitutional obligation to desegregate the suburbs that the federal government had segregated. A program of open communities which included three elements. One, a requirement that suburbs repeal exclusionary zoning laws. That is, laws that, that uh, uh, prohibit the construction of anything but uh, single family homes uh, with large square footage and on large acreages. Things that prevent not poor people, but moderate, middle class, working class families from moving into those suburbs. Secondly, for families of lower incomes, that every suburb has to um, permit the building of subsidized moderate income housing. And third, that every suburb has to have its fair share, is the term we use today, fair share of public housing for the poorest of families. Every suburb, the most affluent suburbs, not just those in the ringing urban areas like Ferguson, but the more affluent suburbs. And George Romney actually began to implement this program um, called Open Communities. Um, he actually withheld federal funds. Every, every metropolitan area requires federal funds, even the most affluent areas, whether it's for sewers or for water projects of other kinds or open space. Um, he withheld federal funds from three um, sub uh, suburban areas nationwide. One was Baltimore County that's been in the news so much. And there was a white backlash uh, to his program. Uh, Richard Nixon, the president, reined him in, eventually forced him out of the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. And we've had nothing anywhere near as proactive uh, since in the last uh, 50 years. What we need to do, it seems to me, uh, is to reacquaint ourselves with the history that even George Romney knew and talked about. Because unless we reacquaint ourselves with that history, our vision of what we need to do today will be too narrow. Unless we learn that we have a constitutional obligation to undo the racial policies that our government imposed to create a segregated America, unless we understand that history, we will not be in a position to discuss even more reasonable policies than the one I laid out uh, to desegregate this country. Not simply to prohibit future discrimination, but to reverse the past discrimination that segregated the country.